What's up, P Nation? Today is a very exciting day because we are gonna tell you how expensive one day in Krakow is. Okay, so we have been in Poland for about nine days now and we've gone to three different cities, so we think in our best opinion, we're gonna be able to give you a really real rounded number <laughs> on how much you're gonna spend each day. Whew, and this morning I am hungry, so we're gonna try and find me some pastries. We already got the chocolate milk. So for a quick bite in the morning, a pastry on the street will cost you about four zel. That's a dollar. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the currency conversion between the U.S. dollar and the Polish zloty. So one U.S. dollar is about 375. Five U.S. dollars is about 1870. Ten U.S. dollars is about 38. 25, 93, and we're spending 35 U.S. dollars, which is about 130 zloty. Okay, now onto accommodation. So we didn't do the best planning. I booked all our Airbnb and stuff like really 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 no. late <laughs> late really late so we stayed here and in warsaw for about 35 us dollars a night in the high season mind you in the high season it's the peak of summer everybody's here so you know it could have been better but i think you can find cheaper accommodations especially if you're like staying in a hostel mm -hmm. but we're at 35 dollars a night and it doesn't have air conditioning Nowhere has air conditioning. Even if you like look really, really hard. Which isn't a problem again if you're not here in the high season. But we are, and we're very hot people. So <laughs> that's been a bit of an issue. But other than that, you know, places are really nice to say. There's a lot of accommodation on Airbnb. You can spend a lot more money if you're booking through booking.com or like actually going to a hotel. So uh -huh. Airbnb is the way to go. So this is our tiny little apartment. It has just a couch, a table, a little area for tea and coffee, a lovely window to bring in cold air, the tiniest little bathroom, and then a ladder going all the way up to the loft. Okay, so now on to transportation. As you can see all these cars behind us, we have not rented a car here because <laughs> it's really easy to walk around everywhere. Yeah, so in Warsaw, it is especially so easy if you don't have a car because mm -hmm. their transportation system is amazing. It's amazing. Probably because it was leveled during the war. Mm -hmm. They built it up, there's so much space. They have trams, they have buses. Most of it's free. I mean, you have to pay, you should pay, but no one's checking. <laughs> if, if you do pay, it's only 40 cents, <laughs> yeah. so, but you so, can't get on free and no one's really checking. Yeah. So it's, so like it's really up to you. Half the time we paid, half the time we did it. For trains, for, yeah, for buses, <laughs> for everything. Now, if you're gonna take a taxi, it'll cost around $5 for a short ride and $10 for a long ride. And if you're going a far distance, like from Krakow to Auschwitz, mm -hmm. it only costs us four US dollars Round together. Round trip. Oh. Okay. Yeah, together. <laughs> and as always, we're gonna show you some prices in the grocery store. So a bar of chocolate will cost between three and four. Okay, and if you notice, you know we love Lay's. A bag of Lay's will cost six twenty-five. As you can see, these pretzels are very popular, and they are really good with hummus. A big bag will cost you four twenty-nine. A small bag will cost you one forty-nine. So water in Poland is good to drink, but if you're looking for carbonated water, it'll cost you one fifty. A small pack of crackers will cost one thirty-nine. One of my favorite parts, milk, only costs two eighty-nine. And these are one of my favorite snacks. They come in all different flavors and they're all less than five. And the best part about getting bread for breakfast is that you can eat it anywhere. <laughs> okay, that pastry was so good and now we're checking out some attractions. We just ate in the... It's called Planty Krakowski. And it's like the old moat of the old town, and it's just a huge park now that you can just like bike around over yeah, and over again. so it's a park that surrounds the entire old town. It's really, really awesome. So Krakow is a lot of fun. Mostly people use it kind of as like a, ha like a home base for visiting Auschwitz. It's about an hour and a half by car or two hours by train. But what's really cool about Krakow is that it's the old city. I mean, it's the old capital of Poland, and all of the buildings are authentic. It wasn't leveled off in the war, so everything you see here is truly Polish architecture. about Krakow 
Now, now my favorite city is Warsaw. It's a new city. It's been built since World War II. It's the Phoenix of Europe. It's really nice and spread out, and so you can see a lot of things through buses and trains and stuff like that. If you want a more close and intimate experience, then Krakow is definitely your best bet. Okay, and this market was amazing. I didn't know it existed before, but if you are here, you should definitely check it out. Now we're gonna head to the Old Town. Keeping with attractions, this is the biggest square in Krakow and at one time was the biggest square in Europe. And on the edge of the square is St. Mary's Basilica. It was built a long time ago, I don't know the exact year. So dinner in Poland really depends on where you want to have it. Like when we were in Warsaw, we ate at a communist war room and that was, what, $12 total for both of us to have a 10 course meal. It was amazing. <laughs> but places like this in the square in Krakow will cost you $20 for your meal alone. So it really just depends. Okay, we've been walking around for a little bit and now we are getting hungry. So we're getting pierogies, the best pierogies <laughs> in all of Krakow. She's done some research. I'm so excited. These are the pierogies. There are all different kinds and they are all under 13 zel. Then down here is the fun part, sweet pierogies, which I've never actually heard before. I've only heard of the savory ones. And these are all no 13 as well. So we got two whole plates of pierogies, one salty and one sweet. So one plate of salty pierogies or like mixed pierogies. We've got like pork, cheese. I think there's spinach one. It costs 12 zel and the sweet plate costs 12.50. And what's especially exciting about this meal is that you don't know what you're biting into because they all look the same. Potato and bacon in a dough ball that's steamed with caramelized onions on top. It does not get any better than that. So I'm trying the sweet ones and it's so weird because you associate color with different tastes. And it's like, oh, this one will be strawberry, but it's cherry. And it's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't think I've ever had a meal where I'm so clueless as to what something's gonna taste like. Because one bite, you really like something, and you're wanting that bite again, and it's something completely different. Over the last week, we've had so many dumplings, so many pierogies, that I feel like I'm becoming one. Okay, so one of the attractions here in Krakow is the Royal Castle. Now, it is free to walk around the grounds, but if you want to enter the castle, it'll cost you at least 20 zel. There are a lot of different rooms and a lot of like displays in the castle, and each one has its own separate price. So if you want to see a lot of what's going on here, it could add up, but it's gonna at least cost you 20. Okay, so we told you about dinner, but pro tip, if you really want to have the best dinner in the city, just like the locals do, you should definitely get some cheese, honey, and bread and eat on this hill overlooking the water. That sounds good. It's amazing. So to go over our one day in Krakow for two people on a budget, you'll approximately spend $70.20, which is awesome. So for breakfast, probably $2, transportation, approximately four, lunch, maybe 12, attractions, if you're going to the castle here in Krakow, it's 10.20 for two people. 
dinner seven those pierogies were amazing and accommodation was 35 so there you go seventy dollars and twenty cents so i feel like this video is more of how expensive is poland but we're here in krakow so thank you for watching our video on how expensive one day in krakow is <laughs> You just said you're ready. Bread or preserved castles. Bread. Bread.